Hi guys, welcome to my channel Akhil's Vlogs. Today my dad purchased a DHC DE45 rock crawler. Let's see how it works. So now I'm unboxing the package. So now I'll unbox the package. So this is the DC rock crawler. So this is the DC DE45 rock crawler. So this is the DC DE45 rock crawler. It's off-road. It has strong tires and shock absorbers. This would be the remote control. Power switch the indicator light the forward and backward and the turn left turn right. So now we have to open the car. So now I have to unbox the car. There's a nice foam packaging inside. So here's the car. I'm already excited. So it has springs on each wheel. It has these headlights. It has kind of like a shield over here. It has rubber tires. This thing, this is the instruction manual, charger, a screwdriver, and some extra screws. This is the remote control. And at last, this is an extra battery. So, I like this DC car for a reason. There's this modern steering wheel, two chairs, lights like a real car. There's a shovel and a fire extinguisher. It's just like a real car. So, in order to actually play with the car, we need to remove its batteries. So now I want to get the screw out. I'm done unscrewing it. So there is the battery right over here. We just need to connect it. So the two things and these two holes should go together. So now we have to screw back the lid. So I think I see the lights now. So that means the car is running. Now we just have to put the batteries into the remote. So they did not give the batteries. So we need to put our own. Okay, so now the car should work. This is a red light, so this is also on. It's time to test the car. So now we have to test this rock crawler, and this is floor one, wood floor. It works perfectly. So now it's time for test two. Tire surface works perfectly. So now surface three near a tree. So this is a tree. These are roots. Let me see if you can actually do this. Wow! Wow! Seriously, a rock 
controller. I don't think there's a better name for it. I don't think I I don't think I can name a single car that I ever saw that actually goes on wheels. It'll be stuck at some point. But this guy, he's moving everywhere. Surface four, the wild, or maybe not. Rosebud. The rosebud should be a thing to the car. The car is entering that place, and the car wins. So now we're gonna do surface five rocks. This is a rock crawler, so if it does not go on rocks, then this is useless. You can go on really big ones. This is real fun. So now we're gonna do the surface that is most common, grass. Goes good. This is really an all-terrain vehicle. This is seriously an all-terrain vehicle. And then now the other surface. The sixth one. The seventh one. This would be wood chips. I feel like it goes better on wood chips than grass. Okay guys, so this is the first big challenge for this car. Grass, mud, stones, everything. Let's get started. We got off track. I think its weakness is turning on rocks. That's not really good. Mud. And the waterfall. So it got stuck. So this is the first time I got stuck. I hope it doesn't get stuck again. Off track again. Off track for the third time. But it doesn't stay on track. Some stems and the logs, which is the finish line. It, I'm going to tell you about the pros and cons about this car. Now, there's a lot of pros. This thing goes on any surface rocks, grass, wood chips, on the sidewalk, on tiles, on wood. We tried every single surface we could find and it went on all of them. Now the second good thing about this car is that it's realistic. Like a real car, if there was ever a real car like this. These are like real lights. This is a real steering wheel. This is like a real shovel or a real fire thing. This is like a real tire, although it can't be put on here. And then the third good thing is about it is this is not plastic. This is metal. This is not just plastic, but this is steel, metal. 
So there's a few cons. The most important con that I ever saw was that it doesn't turn well in rocks. So if your entire neighborhood is covered in rocks and you want this guy to turn, I don't think it's gonna succeed. And then the second con is, this doesn't have a speed controller. It's only move forward and move back, that's it. But some cars, they may have speed one, speed two, or speed three. Watching this video, please subscribe to our channel.